turn. We are in a state of almost fully decorated. I Like I keep saying, it'll be fully decorated on October 31st. We all know it, it's fine, but look at this. We're gonna do a dollar store DIY day. So what I'm gonna do tonight is prep for tomorrow and have like a full day of DIYs, but I have a full list on my phone. I have a couple of ideas. I don't wanna divulge everything just yet, but I just got like the holy grail of dollar store experiences. Like there, this is chock full. Oh, and there was an order from the other day too. So we're doing all dollar store DIYs we're gonna upcycle some things that I'm not using anymore. So in that box of donations, I'm actually, before I send it out, I'm gonna fish through and use things and maybe paint some things and create some treasures. And I'm gonna really try and do stuff that you guys have never seen before, except for one thing, cause you guys keep asking me to do it. So the one thing you've seen it on the internet, but Angie's gonna find a way to, to zhuzh it up with some glitter. It's gonna be great. So if that's something you guys wanna see, then just keep watching. got our movie going. I am making comfort food. You guys said in the comments, and I'm reading every single one of your comments, by the way, when you guys said you wanted me to do more recipes and more comfort food for fall, I'm doing like a cheesy broccoli macaroni dish. It's supposed to be one pot, but you got to boil the noodles in something. I mean, if I did a broth, maybe, but we're not, we're not going to play it like that. Look how cute my little spatula is. He's covered in onions and garlic right now, but he's fabulous. So I'm going to prep dinner and prep all the DIYs tonight. And then tomorrow we're gonna have a full DIY day, but let me show you what I have so far. Also, this is giving me all the feels. I just wanna go back to Universal, get another backpack. Now you see Hogwarts. Okay, this is the first one. You'll see it tomorrow, but I have this cauldron with the recipe on it. And I got these iridescent balls, but we're gonna make it Angie. We're gonna do a bubbling cauldron. We did one last year, and I wanna link that video because it was so freaking good. There was like 10 DIYs rapid fire, so good, and I did a bubbling cauldron, but this one's gonna be better with the glow in the dark stuff. It's gonna be better, it's gonna be amazing. So good. a little pumpkin spice in Jack. Mm. So I have my cauldron set up here. And yesterday, like I said, I went to the dollar store. I'm just gonna show you everything I got because it's all inside my brain right now and it needs to be unlocked. Pretty sure we're gonna watch a little house of little shop of horrors. I'm still new to this game, okay? You guys introduced it to me last year. So we're gonna watch that. Carl's snuggling by the fire. We're gonna go through everything I got. Andre was like, you're like a mad scientist in here. It was a really good dollar store, I will say. It was chaotic in there, but it was a good one. I got this like tray thing. There's a plan, method to my madness. Oh, I found these. I have these from last year in orange and green, and I love them. They're like the squishy eyeballs. Endless possibilities. Just thought of one. See, like that's what I would say. So shout out, my sister used to do this for me and my little brother. She would take us to either like her craft bin or we would go to Michael's or the dollar store and she'd be like, pick out five things and then we're gonna make something with those five things. It's such a cool thing to do with kids. My sister is a little bit older than me and my brother and she was like so creative with that when we were little and she would literally be like, okay, I'm giving you this, 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 and this, and this, go and make whatever you want. And it was just, I don't know, it was like a fond memory in my childhood. Spiders, but like make it bougie. I really like the green one. More eyeballs. I have these from last year, but they're in white. Like they're just a regular eyeball. That was more fun. Oh, okay. The reason I got this is I keep seeing DIYs with these. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I couldn't leave it. And I just want to say our dollar store in Canada, like if I was in the States with most of you guys, this would be a dollar. This is 375. This should not be 375, but most of these things, like this is a dollar, dollar 25, dollar 75, like most of the things are not a dollar. I just want to say that, but that's because Canada is ridiculous with certain things. Like Audrey was looking at stuff, he's like, why isn't this a dollar? I was like, 
Well, it's $1.75. I thought this was so pretty. But wait, there's more. I thought this was so freaking cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was so cute. Bag of bones, are you a dollar? No, $2, really? This lantern. So here's one thing. I'm kind of thinking something like this. Because I got two. I don't know. I don't know. Pumpkins. Glitter pumpkins. Basic pumpkins. Two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents. Maybe the glitter ones aren't worth the extra fifty cents. I don't I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Okay, I thought he was phenomenal. It's like not proportionate, but I kind of love it. Oh, I already have these in I think I have these in orange on the bar cart, and I, I actually use them. So I got two of these. Maybe to make a DIY, I don't know. Glitter, green glitter, $1.50. This is where I kind of loved these pieces. So because I'm trying to do a garden theme, like a dark garden theme on the bar cart and trying to keep it contained but chaotic, I got some of these like little garden containers and I thought they were so freaking cute. So this is $3. I just like that it's like super, like I kind of want to keep it for the next house. That's how much I like it, like for every day. And I got another one like that, a bigger one. So I was thinking I could put all of the dark succulents in these. This one's almost like a quilted type of finish, but it's it's giving dark vibes, which I kind of love. Another one of those lanterns. Just put a fake tea light in there. Bag of bones, as we do. Skulls. Fake tea light. Black glitter. I mean like black, black dark silver. Black, dark, gray, silver. Oh, did I show this? Glow in the dark rocks. Yeah, it's gonna be chaotic. So I'm gonna start with the bubbling cauldron and then we're gonna go from there and we're gonna put on Little Shop of Horrors because we have to, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I got more of these cause last year that was one of my favorite DIYs. So we're gonna do that. Same, same, but different. Here, it's gonna be a day. I just turned off the nebulizer. A couple things, get a nebulizer that really flows. This one is old and does not get one with a remote, but game changer. This, I would not recommend the glitter spray, but the easy tack spray, oh. So it dries clear, so it won't, it won't ruin the iridescent look of the balls. And then this very fine glitter, I could have used the dollar store one, but I felt like this was giving pixie dust. I think I got this in like a pack of bajillion from Michael's a long time ago and I had it left over. So good. Another game changer, drawing that circle on the piece of paper to get the exact dimensions of the cauldron. I just drew, can you even see it? I drew a circle. And then I followed that with the clear ornaments. And then I sprinkled the glitter on top. I used the glow in the dark spider webs to fill in the little gaps, hot glue gun. So good. Oh, and just an old tablecloth to fill in the, the base of it so that everything kind of fit on top. I really like it. Even just like that, it's nice. Like you don't need the nebulizer in there. The other thing I was gonna do, and I might still do it, I might still do it, is get a little bubble machine. My bubble wand is too big for that thing, but a little bubble machine, I feel like could be really cool. Yeah, the nebulizer needs to be better and needs to be on a remote. Oh, and then I put fairy lights in it too, obviously. I am going to continue my DIY projects, but I'm stopping for lunch and I wanted to mention this. Last night's dinner was probably the biggest hit of my entire marriage. Andre had so much of it. He literally said, this is like the best thing you ever made. And it was really simple. So I will get the recipe up on my Pinterest but we have tons left over, so I'm gonna have some. There was tons of broccoli in there, noodles, cheesy, ground beef, just good, like comfort food, fall comfort food. And that's what you guys asked for. I've been reading all the comments. That's what you guys wanna see, so I'll get the recipe up for you guys. I'm also gonna make some cookies for him. So I'm gonna do these pumpkin, are they just shortbread? They're sugar cookies. So pumpkin cookies, and then these are pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna do a little 
super easy DIY with that. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and put the cookies in the oven. I'll show you how I'm making them. What were your thoughts on yesterday's dinner? Fantastic, one of the best meals we've ever made. <laughs> Let's call, we're gonna call it the husband catcher. I mean, you're, you're already married, you've been caught. These are really good too. If you put this on a fishing rod and threw it over the front balcony, at some point in time, you'd find a second husband for sure. <laughs> you don't taste the pumpkin a whole lot, but they're still really good. Yeah. To dinner we're going on a little date night so we're gonna go to little italy let me show you what i did three bottles but look at the slime all it is is dried glue gun and then i painted over top of it love it so everything anything i put in the bottle i always like late label it on the top so i did that last year and i thought it was really cute this one i put the the eyeballs in and i put an eyeball on top and it's just twine on top Loved watching movies. So Andre and I just watched a movie together. I didn't show it just because it's a family channel and it was a scarier, not scarier, it was a scary movie. It's called Freaky. I mean, listen, was it a horror movie? No, but I'm a baby. Vince Vaughn, parts of it were funny, parts of it were really gory, but not like almost satire gory, but still too scary for kids. But we both liked it. It was kind of weird, but we also like Vince Vaughn. I put the spider in here and then some spiders. Very cute. So it almost gives like a nebula style with the i just pulled apart like cotton pads i didn't have cotton balls so I, I just used what i had it was fun i used paint food coloring glitter paint so good what else did i use i just i just like found things from around the house which was awesome and then i had this cup from the dollar store also that i started to do and i want to put two of those green like the gooey eyeballs where his eyeballs are so it kind of looks like they fell out of his skull and then i want to do the green goo all over the top part. And then the idea, and the reason why these are all green is they're gonna go in the kitchen area. Come with me. And then I have an idea for a DIY. So you know, my martini glass that I love very much and how I ordered the tray. I was talking about it, how, like I just love the snake idea. Well, they canceled my order because they're sold out. So we're gonna DIY it. I ordered some stuff. So here's the idea. The green goes with this green. Look how good it looks with the glitter. I don't even know, like, you guys let me know in the comments. Can you see it, the glitter that I put? Like the little, the glue, the tacky glue, plus the glow in the dark cobwebs, plus the glitter. Nailed it. So good and so easy. Love it. I just feel like the nebulizer needs to be better. But this is what, this is what I was going for. Like basically just put it like 
in my area. I'm just gonna show this better. Right, because the whole theme of this is black and green. So my next DIY project, I wanna do all the bar cart stuff with like moss and skulls, but like moss skulls, garden stuff. I don't know, we're gonna get there. But if you guys are liking the DIYs, definitely know in the, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have an idea for me of something you wanna see me do, like this was by popular demand. You guys wanted me to make it, so we did it. Oh, and the cool part is for storage, this just lifts right off and then I can store it separately. So yeah, if you guys wanna see something, definitely let me know. I think I'm gonna keep going with the DIYs. Instead of doing like hauls and, I mean, we're pretty much decorating, but this is a decorate with me. I just feel like it's more, it's more practical. We're upcycling things. And I just found a tray that I could use to make that like serpent dupe of the West Elm serpent tray that was like, I don't know, it was like $100 on discount though. But still, we're gonna make it for like $2. So that's the plan. I'm excited, but here's what I'm thinking. Spooky Fort DIY night and do all the things. Also, it looks like my house exploded because we ordered stuff and then I just did DIYs all day. So whenever I get crafty, it's like we got to clean again, but all good. Today was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the baking, the cooking. I'll drop all the recipes and everything on my Pinterest. I do need to start blogging again, but I'm heading to date night. This is as cute as, this is as like, look at my, look how cute. Like we need to make it fall. It's raining outside too. Eat like a little, it's like a sweater dress. And then this comes off and I mean, right, right, right. We're trying to make it cute. And I think I'm gonna wear some little booties with it. So then we will probably come home and chill together. So let's call it a night. I'm thinking we're gonna make a fort tomorrow. So if that's something you guys wanna see, then I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.